For easy to make recipes here, we're in the KC Live Kitchen. I'm joined with Daniela Abel from the Culinary Center. And we're going to make, you're going to help me make hummus or I'm going to help you make hummus? You're going to... You know, you were an expert last time, so you're going to help me make hummus. Not even, close, not even close. What do we have here? Okay, so hummus is super easy to make. We're going to start with a can of drained okay. chickpeas or chechi, as right. I like to call them um, in Italian. A little pinch of salt, a right. little pinch of pepper. Sea salt, right? That looks sea like sea salt. salt. It is. Okay. Yep. Good job. I'm going to have you do this here. Oh, that's a little big. Uh, we are going to squeeze the lemon so it goes in like this. Okay. Go ahead, squeeze away. Squeeze it like this? Yep, squeeze it just yep, like that. I can do. Um, you can do a half a lemon to a full lemon. Um, I usually suggest putting it all in and then tasting it. That's the best thing to do. Gotcha. Fantastic. That's, you Easy. squeeze that like a champ. Well, Fantastic. You know. This is called tahini right here. This is sesame seed paste. And this, you, you got it. If you want to make hummus, this is it, right? Exactly. I said you, can't, okay. you really can't make hummus without it. It's not going to turn out right. I'd say about um, two heaping tablespoons full okay. of tahini. You can get that at any grocery store now. It's gotcha. definitely essential. I like to add a couple other really cool things. A um, little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic. I'll go ahead and add that jalapeno in there. Um, gotcha. Give it a little kick. I only do about gotcha. a half of it. Um, this is, go ahead, it's a little bit of cumin and smoked paprika. Go ahead, the whole thing Just in it. Whole thing. Yep. And then we simply put on the top here. You, of course, can do this in a blender too. Not everyone has a food processor. Right. I get it. Are you ready to do the honors? Yes. Okay, so one open, steady right? stream of olive oil okay. right in the top. Just like this. Just like that. And you keep you going. Me when. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. You keep going until you achieve the right consistency, which is really smooth. So we'll stop right there. Let it go a little bit. See how that's oh, nice perfect. and creamy? Isn't that good? Go ahead. Yeah. Dip it in there. See what you got. Yeah. Wow. Good? That is really good. All right. So we'll just pour it in a nice dish just like that, and then we are off to make our pita chips. So wow. right over here, all you have to do, actually, can you hand me that olive oil and a little bit of the yes. salt? Um, you're going to take a pita that is just raw pita, any kind of pita, mm -hmm. um, put a little bit of olive oil on it. Okay. Actually, when I say a little, I mean a lot. And then you're <laughs> going to put some za'atar. This is a really neat Arabic spice. Um, it is made of sumac, oregano, thyme, a little bit of sesame seed. Um, it's classic to put an olive oil and dip bread in it, pita chips, chicken, you name it. It looks fantastic. It really and it smells so good, too. Yeah. Um, you're going to put this right on the baking sheet. Go ahead and smooth that out for me a little okay. bit on the baking sheet. You heat your oven to 400 degrees. And we're going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. It really depends on your oven. Sprinkle a little bit of that sea beautiful salt. sea salt exactly over it. And I'm bringing this over because they're wrapping us. And look at that. That and goes product. with that. Oh my gosh. So good. Well, yes, I will try some. Yeah. <laughs> Please be my guest. Awesome. All right, Jane. This is, uh, this is it. We're trying it. Love it. Verdict? Wow, those are really good. Holy mackerel. Those are my husband's favorite. It's like it's like candy to him. I'm on, and they're they're not that, they're not very few. They're baked again. See? Oh, no yeah, fight. No. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate it, Jane.